Good morning. Hi, everybody. We're feeling okay. Well, you're feeling okay. <laughs> I'm drinking my tea. Yes. It's been a rough week. Yes, it's been a rough week for all of us. Well, after Karen's tirade about her hair, we got a lot <laughs> I'm still of in yeah, it. a lot of people were talking talking about it, and we got a lot of uh, feedback about it. And I think she's. Still not settled. I'm still not settled with the hair. I'm <laughs> still not okay. She's and I'm kind recovering. of settled with the employee thing because she's gone. Um, yes, she quit. So, so I'm good. Imagine that. Imagine <laughs> I don't that. know why. Um, but she was going anyway, so that's why. She kind of beat me to the punch, which is fine. I don't care either way. I, you know, I'm, I'm free. But I, I am in need of an assistant. So if, if you want to yes. consider being my assistant, um, definitely let me know. Go on my website and fill out a contact form. But here's what I want to tell you. That's a great thing. That's actually a great opportunity for somebody. That's a phenomenal job. Yeah, well, it's, really it's a lot great. of fun. I mean, it's a lot of PR work. You get a lot of networking done. It doesn't mm -hmm. pay a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. It's not like you're going to make a fortune. Um, but it is a lot of fun, and, and we enjoy It's almost like ourselves. the apprentice. Yes, yes. Be my so apprentice. So if you can make it past her apprenticeship, <laughs> you can go anywhere. That's right. That's and it's right. true. That's a great, great tra uh, learning ground A hundred percent. I mean, it really introduces them not only to a lot of people in the business world, but also just ways of, you know, communicating and sales right. and so on and so forth. So call me. Yeah. Um, but he, we sound a little foggy and hoarse because Regina's been we? sick and I've been sick. I sound it too. I got it. I'm drinking my oh tea. My God. Speaking of tea. I went to, wait a minute. I went to, <laughs> want to talk about myself now. I went, I was so sick that I was not getting better that I actually went to urgent care on Sunday. You have yeah. to go well, into you those need walk in cl yeah, clinic they're, things? Yeah, they're pretty good. Actually, they're beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're taking over everything. Well, I don't know if the doctors are any good in them, but like it's a good, it's a nice place. I mean, <laughs> well, I'm glad you know. to hear that now. But I mean, but I'm just saying. So I, mean, I thought the guy was great. I was in and out of there in probably 20 minutes. One girl took all my uh, written. In, oh, one girl took all. I can't even hear myself. <laughs> one girl. <It's> crazy. <laughs> one girl took all my written information. Yeah. The other girl took all my vitals, took my uh, temperature, my this, that, the, and then the doctor came in. Asked me several questions. Left. Had a prescription. Was on, called. They called it into the pharmacy. I was on my way. I said, "This is." It's a beautiful thing because there isn't there isn't that whole thing at the no. doctor's office and where you're, you're waiting, waiting for seventeen and waiting, hours, and, and then you're waiting in the. I, what happened to me once is once I was waiting in the waiting room so long, I got so mad, I got dressed and left. Yeah. Oh, in the room, you mean? In the room. Because oh, they bring in you in the room, and then they leave you there for a half yeah, an hour. Yeah, that's what I mean. I know. That's unacceptable. This was but... great. They had two women in the room. Mm -hmm. So it, it went by in a second. Yeah. yeah. So um, we've been drinking. Karen's a little under the weather, so we've been drinking a lot of soup. A lot and of tea. Karen a lot of has shakes. discovered a new drink of choice for her that she wants, she's dying to talk about. Okay, well, no, 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 because here's the thing. It's a funny story. I decided <laughs> that, you when know, of course, with story? my cle nutritional cleansing, I don't drink coffee, but that I was going to start drinking teas and herbal teas and, you know, different kinds of chai teas and things like that. Um, so I dragged my husband to the mall, do, do, do. And went to Tivana. And he's like, oh, God, what do we got to get here? He's not really into tea. <laughs> well, he starts, you know, sampling because they have all these samples at Tivana of all the different teas. And before you know it, he's like, man, this is good. He's like, we got to yes. get this. Yes. $250 later, we have tea. Now yeah. he's ordering stuff on the Internet for all the... Oh, he's oh. the best. Chris he's is the best. Once you get him... Once you get him exposed to something, and if he likes it, he's all in. He's not like a tea to no, no, no. Maybe we'll try. He's all in. <laughs> now he's got to get the right teapot, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. He just ordered a teapot on Amazon. Oh, which will have it in two days. It's my favorite thing. Yeah, yeah. We're oh, obsessed with it. It's like overnight it. Yeah, right. it's crazy. Um, but, yeah, he bought, you know, and tea's expensive. It's not cheap. No, no. Like two ounces of it, two little tea, like two ounces of tea is like $14. Yeah. So, I mean, it's expensive. So by the time we got done, because then you got to buy the tin, so we bought four tins of teas. And then last <laughs> night, last <laughs> night I was at They're the um, Arthritis Foundation's Women on the Move cocktail reception, and one uh, Gaia Essence tea basket I put oh, my... actually, I've seen that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It was it's really a little nice. ball? Well, it's the ball, but no, but then they come in canisters of the loose teas. Oh, okay, and then you so, put it in the silver ball. Yeah, so you had okay. to see how excited he was this morning. He's like, what we get? He's like, open it up. Let me smell it. He loved it. Um, you know, there's a... a place in the city. Yes. It's incredible. Oh, really? For tea. Yeah, you'll have to like, take me there. Well, you'll be there for like hours. Yeah. Don't okay. take Chris. You'll be no, you'll never get out. No, and we'll you'll be broke. Get out. Um, but anyway, we have a very, very busy schedule today. Yes, but tell um, them what we did last week. Oh, big, so our, our, our team you dinner. You know what? We have some pictures. Vicki, do you want to put the pictures up of our team dinner? Um, we were at Verde in Deer Park, which was gorgeous. This it was is, a 
wine tasting. And that's our whole group. We did a, a like a team um, spirit night. Team, if yeah, you want team to say. building, yeah. team get together. It was a lot of and fun. And those are the people on our team. Those are some of them. And um, we have a great Wait, team. And then we went bowling. Yeah, and then, then and the then night all, turned. All, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> all hell broke loose. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think that's how I got sick because, you know, you put your fingers in those holes. And then God only knows whose fingers were in those holes before me. And then, like, we were eating some stuff after it. And I, oh, I just, I swear to God, I think that's up with. I swear. Me sick. I that's I last night. It. There's me and Matt. Matt will be on today. And me and Elisa from News 12. I know. She was out me, without me last night. She's very cute. She's the tiniest little, little thing. Jealous. Yeah, I'm a little well, jealous. you didn't want to show up, but um, Karen, I know you were sick. You would see I'm me yesterday, though. <laughs> I mean, you. I mean, this is the first time I've been out, and I. Yeah. You know. I know. I, I'm probably going to make it to She walked in the studio this morning. She's like, "Oh, it's so nice to be out oh my today." Gosh, and I'm fresh saying to myself, air. "It's 15 degrees. <laughs> Calm down. It's not even. It's not even nice out today. It's freezing." Uh, but we really do have to wrap this up because we have a very busy show today. Yes, we do. We, we have a busy have, show. Um, we have to be laser. Laser. The people, running laser. suit. Man, yes, we're very excited to have him on. Uh, the running wait suit till guy, you, the running suit guy, guy, the running suit guy, and um, Chris will be up in just a few minutes. And then after him, we have uh, Matt Silver from Ultimate Class Limo. So uh, right. he's going to be talking a little bit about Fight so for Charity, which we're going interesting. to Monday night. Yes, we charity. are. That's we exciting. Are. Okay, <laughs> thank so. God, I'll be better for that. <laughs> um, so we have an exciting show. We have a lot going on, and we, um, we got to we got to get. We gotta to go a commercial because we have to start our show. So we'll, we'll see right you in a little back. bit. I am Tom Mealy for the Harrison Law Group, and I have been telling you for years that getting involved in an automobile accident is no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. If you've been involved in an accident of any kind, and you go to a law firm that says you have no case, it's simple. It's because they can't do it, and they don't get it. You need to call us directly at 1-800-INJURY-LAW. I'm Tommy Moore. I'm down in St. Bart's having a good time. A lot of people at this time, they like to go have a little cocktail. But you know what I do? I'm going to watch MadhouseTV.com. You got that right. I'm Tommy Moore. I'm For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. For Welcome to Formula Auto Wash, where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. 
retailing packages for every budget, starting out at £29.99. 100% hand wash and detail centre. Hogs hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. See any discounts all day, every day. Ladies Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday to 9.30 a.m. Check out our website, formulaautowash.com. Welcome back. <laughs> Hi. You may have noticed that we have a guy who's all suited up with a Very fedora handsome. hat. Um, yes, yeah, so Chris Gomlick right. is here today, Very and um, he's known as the running man. The running suit guy. The running, running suit, suit guy. guy. She's okay. got the running man here. Right. Okay. <laughs> so um, this is pretty interesting. I don't think I've ever seen anybody um, in a suit with billboards on them, basically. No. Right, right, right. Well, actually, especially running. Yes, okay? true. Because that's the whole idea, is that uh, I'm the running suit guy. I run races in fine attire, promoting your business is my Stand desire. Stand up for a second. Yeah, let everybody see up. your suit, because okay. that's, like, really cool. Give us a little twirl. So this is the whole idea. Uh, I run in dress shoes. I don't know if you can get that on the camera. But uh, you, run in dre you run a marathon in dress shoes? Yeah, I don't run. I've run the New York City Marathon. The longest I've run as the running suit guy is a half marathon. Okay. Okay, so okay. we get that cleared up. But, so now, do your feet hurt at the end? You know, I can run in these dress shoes and it doesn't bother me. It oh, that's really pretty. doesn't. And I love the cool. attention that it gets. It's yeah. a little added something. People are surprised and shocked. And I'm like, yeah, I can do it because I think it's important, right? If you're going to do something, you do it all the way. Yes, right? uh -huh. yes, yes. And absolutely. so I started getting a lot of attention at these races. And I thought, you know, someone would pay for that attention. Someone would pay for that exposure. Correct. And so I just started my little business here, knocked on doors, and said I'd like to promote your business. Now in this case, I have the Carol M. Baldwin Breast Cancer Research Fund. My sister passed away from that. And it's near and dear to my heart, and I want to promote it. This is lottacoupons.com. This is one of my sponsors. It's a, it's a website where you can uh, easily print out uh, coupons when you go food shopping. So now how, when, you're, when you're running, uh, what do you do? Do you hand them a promotion? How does that work? That's a, great, that, that's a great question. So like on this side, I have the Smile Train, which is another charity for children born with a cleft palate. Mm -hmm. So somebody comes up to me and says, oh, what's going on? I'd be like, oh, hold on. Here we go. I have a brochure for the Smile Train. So oh, then I hand wow. that to you. Oh, that's great. You understand? So then you bring <laughs> yeah. that home. It's a little bit of a personal engagement by handing out literature, coupons, what have you. And the Smile Train um, helps children with... With cleft palate. Okay. That's the, the, the thing. Oh, and for so $250, nice. $250, people, you know, they can, doctors around the world, repair a child's lip. Mm -hmm. right? Oh, wow. And that's an innocent child. Yes. Didn't do anything, right? Yeah. And... To me, that's, that touches my heart. Of course it does, and yeah. So that's with things that, that are, things that touch my heart, I want to be a part of. I want to promote mm -hmm. that. And, and, and so they beautiful. see you coming and going, because look at the back of it. Yes, too. you see on the back I mean, now? He's got more stuff right. there. Right, right. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Right? So Fabulous. I'm not, I'm and you keep your hat on, too? Uh, you know what? The way I start is the way I finish. Wow. Oh, the tie okay. doesn't loosen. The hat never comes off. Right. Oh, my. Okay, because I want to look. Are you drenched in sweat? I'm a little well. wet. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll admit it's that. Funny. I, I, I get a little it's wet. It's kind of like one of those running guys. Suits. You know the people who run in those suits, like those plastic suits, you yeah. know, to get the sweat <laughs> out of them and the toxins? It's good. You probably detox. Well, oh, yeah. yeah. I, de yeah. <laughs> well, I would <laughs> say he I don't, looks like he's in pretty good shape. I don't I gain weight. Yes. Right, yes. exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But how? But, what but, came first for you? Like, were you, were you a runner? Did you, were you in advertising? Like, how did this come about? Because it's very different. It's unique. And I think it's, a, I've seen you at a lot of events, and it's really, you get a lot of, I mean, you're very handsome, and you look great, but Thank you. also all of your advertisements get a lot of attention. So what came first for you? 
You know, the whole idea started years ago. I went to a Halloween party, and I went dressed as Indiana Jones. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. That's my favorite movie character, right? Kind of cool, One swashbuckling. One of my favorite movies. Yeah, yes, okay. all of them. Indy. Right, Indy. Indy, yeah, yeah. Indy. So I went, Ford, cute too. <laughs> I went dressed as Indy to the Halloween party, and after it was over, I was like, wow, I really want to wear the outfit again. Right. I don't want to wait till next Halloween. So I thought, you know, he runs in the movie. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Oh, he does. I'm a runner. He's always running in the movie, yes. right? Oh, yes. so you were a runner. I was a runner before okay. that, right. So I started running as Indiana Jones, just as a goof, have yeah. a little fun, right? Right. Got a lot of attention. Dun, 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 Light dun, bulb. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> so then I thought, you know, I wonder if I could take it a little further. I wonder if I could put on a suit and tie and run like that. Right. So I tested it out, pulled the suit out of my closet, just happened to be double-breasted, so it's a nice classic look. Yes. Correct. And I started running. And now the interviewers who are coming to cover the race, not the interviewers, the reporters, right? Right, right. Coming to cover the race, they want to see what's going on. Uh-huh. So now They're I'm like, getting... why is this guy in a suit? Exactly. <laughs> so now, right, the pictures, they end up in the paper. I'm like, well, yes. wait a minute. Someone's going to pay for that. Right. That's kind of unique. Right, absolutely. So that's how the whole thing got started. And then I just went up and down the street with a little portfolio of pictures, and I said, listen, I'd love to promote your business. Right, right. And I had... So sit, sit down. I had yeah, two let's, people. Let's sit. I had two people that were, that loved the idea. And you started in what town? In the town of Northport? I first, started right? in Northport, mm -hmm. and uh, Maroney Cuisine was one of my first... We have to go there. Yes, right, we do, we yeah. do. Was one of my first uh, sponsors, that and Northport Physical Therapy. And, uh, and so then, it's you know... Local. All you needed, and all I needed were two. All I needed was one, mm -hmm. because then I could go to the next person and say, "By the way, Maroni Cuisine, you know, they advertised with the running suit guy." And so then they're like, "Oh well, if it's good enough for Maroni, hey, it's good enough well, for that's, me." Well, that's well, that enterprise how you start. began, right? Well, see, he, that you all you need is one self into this fabulous running advertising machine, right, right. and you know, people listened and they paid attention, which is great. I mean, because mm -hmm. I see you all over the place. You were in Newsday. Yes, I was in Newsday, okay. I was in the Long Island Business News, I was in the Observer, which is a local paper, I was mm -hmm. interviewed on Fios One, okay. um, I've been interviewed by, by Cablevision, you know, their on-site reporter of course, kind of a thing. Of course, of course. So it's a great opportunity, right, for running Suit Guy, and sure. also for my charities, for my um, uh, sponsors that yes. pay me. Yes. So, you know, I keep healthy, I make people smile. I mean, come on. It's a win-win. Absolutely. Win. Absolutely. Plus, I get to hand out their literature. So you walk home with it. It's not just a visual. Right. You come home with a smile train. You have train. to have a picture of Karen and Regina on your suit somewhere, yes. right? Uh, yes. Yeah. I'd be more than willing. Yeah, yeah. I'd be more than willing. I like to shake things up. I like it. Madhouse TV, you know. Correct. Yeah. We'll exactly. We'll to, exactly. We'll have to do something yeah, like that. Yeah, but you're actually, like you said, so you're carrying that with you, too, as you run. Hey, I have a lot of pockets. So it's smile train. It's... It's a Pop and Prescott Journal. This is a, a magazine. I don't know which camera is on, but this is a magazine. It's a lifestyle magazine. Um, she's promoting her, uh, me. I'm promoting her. Mm -hmm. It's That's a very right. high-end magazine that talks it about... It looks beautiful. You work yeah. together. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing. It's art and culture and uh, movies and uh, fashion and style. Yes, okay? we like that. We like style, we right? Always. Shake it up. Yes. yes. So um, I promote Pop and Prescott Journal. I promote... A lot of coupons. I would love to promote Madhouse TV. Okay. This is a growing uh, uh, studio. Um, I followed it when you guys first started. Yeah. So it's it's uh, tremendous, and it has a huge viewership. And you know, we're thrilled to be a part yeah, of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you do in the winter? Do you run in the winter? Because there's no runs. There is runs. Oh, okay. Yeah. They run are, all the time. Too. There are yeah, runs yeah, all I'm year. I'm not running in the winter. Well, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm not running in the summer. <laughs> I didn't want no, to say I, anything. I, 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 that was hilarious. Yeah, she says, yeah. I don't run in the winter. I, I, the only time she runs is a sale over at TJ Maxx. No, That's you know the only time say? she's running. If you so see me running, about. if you see me running, you better run. You better run, too, because there's something chasing. There's a fire. <laughs> there's yes, there's an emergency. There's something going on. I agree. If I saw Karen running, I, I would, would think the world is ending. Yeah, 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 you better Actually, run. I would just drive to your house, because Chris... Chris has a bomb yeah. shelter. Oh, yeah, so he has fine. a whole arsenal. It's fine. But I do run yes. all year long. So yes. they just had the Halloween run. They'll have Christmas runs. They'll have the New Year's Eve run. Are you doing the Jingle have... Bell run at Hofstra in December? 
I might. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I've been injured. Yeah. <laughs> I've been injured. Oh. I'm getting over my injury. Okay. But uh, <laughs> it's, uh, how do you know about the jingle? Well, I'm interviewing you now. No idea. <laughs> yeah, the jingle bell run or whatever it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but it's for the Arthritis Foundation. Yes. So okay. I, you know, I oh, heard that's all about why, because you were at the event. Yes. Right, so, right. Yeah. Now, that's how okay. long, how, what's the distance of these? Um, uh, yeah. Most of the runs are shorter runs. Hold on, folks. <laughs> uh, most of the runs are shorter runs. They're about 10K. Which is now, what is 10K? <laughs> okay. Tell me it all. Sorry. A 10K <laughs> is six miles. Six miles. Okay. Six oh. miles. Six miles in my right, suit. Okay. okay. Okay, 5K. Oh, I would think it was 10 miles because it's like 10. <laughs> You know? Yeah, but the K, K for kilometer. Oh, kil okay. kilometer. But you're also running Stay in these shoes. I like learning. That's not easy. I do run in these shoes. Uh, these shoes have been with me for, I don't know. They, Six miles in those to, shoes. They have to be at do least you get blisters? 10 years old. I take precautions. Okay. I have my little secrets. Oh, that, good. That, oh, he's got that, secrets. That yes. I, I do have secrets. Yeah, that's, that's how right. I usually am not injured. <laughs> right. But um, I became, you know, had, had the, uh, the injury. But yeah, so I run all year long. St. Paddy's Day race is a huge event in Huntington. Oh, sure, right, yes. And then you have That's the Long Island Marathon, one. which starts in, in, uh, in May. Well, we'll, we'll have Karen, to interview you. You should start training for the... that now. It starts in May. Well, if, yeah, we can if, start training for that. But if I would you would say like we could come to, down we and could, interview you. We could yeah, train then. together if you'd okay. like. Okay. Well, um, um, we should show some of the. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to see a video at least of um, you know, what it is you're actually doing in action. Yeah, there would be a, right, a great video of me in action. Um, I don't know if, it, if it's up, but... Yeah, um, we're going to show yeah, it Yeah, Vicky's pulling it up. Okay. Um, I think that it'll really give pic people a clearer picture. Of, yeah, this is, this is me at the uh, at. Cal Harbor race in Northport Village maybe uh, five years ago. And the running suit guy. Promoting your business is my desire. I'm pretty sure I unplugged the coffee maker. <laughs> and so another day begins for the running suit guy. Another chance to promote your business or organization. The Running Suit Guy does everything he can to stay in tip-top shape to help you find more customers and do more business. Why, he's a marathon runner. Hey, it's the it's running, running Suit, suit guy. guy. He's a gymnast. He pings, pong, ping. Pong's victory is his! It's the running suit guy! He shoes. Oops. He follies. He's a daredevil. An equestrian. He's a gridiron great. And he chops. It's the running suit guy. And after a long, hard day getting pumped to promote your business, He's hanging tough! The running suit guy cools down with a dip in the pool. A relaxing massage. And catching some rays. He works hard for you! Let the running suit guy carry your message across the finish line and help you get more customers and more business. So that was a uh, video. That's great. Yeah, that was a video of the of a day in the life of the running suit guy. It's a TV show that I'm that I'm starting to put together a little bit, where the running suit guy does everything. That's great. In a suit. Correct. You should get one of those GoPro cameras and run with that. I've thought of that, uh, yeah, except it's, right? it's such a big, bulky thing that it takes away. I'd like to get, they, they have ones that you can clip on your suit, yeah. right. but it's not quite as small as But it's GoPro. great to yeah. see you in all these different um, events that you do. Like, here you are, that's Cal Harbor, correct? That's, that's, that's correct. That's for the Carol M. Baldwin Foundation. Carol M. Foundation. Baldwin Breast Cancer Research Fund. That's the... And that's me coming out of the ocean when I uh, did Ooh, the... Um, oh, chili. That's a polar bear. When I did the Make-A-Wish. Okay, and here we are. And that's me are. at the Shelter Island race being interviewed. Right. 
Right. And that's just giving more exposure to the smile train. Right. Oh, that's um, with you and a that's, nice celebrity. That's me with Billy Baldwin right. from the breast cancer. That was just and here's recently, you coming right? across that's the right. finish line. I love that. That's and a great shot. Yeah, Look at this. Yeah. I'm telling you, he gets so much attention. We've been to a lot of these events, oh, even and networking news events. Coverage. There's yeah. news oh, there's news day. day. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah, so people, this is a great uh, way and a unique way to promote your business. Yes, promote my business, promote charities, and promote the businesses that hire me to promote their business, right? Yeah, yeah. So, that's great. You know, and, and, all, and all of these businesses that hire me are looking for a different way, not saying that the other ways that are out there are bad. This is just well, in course. addition to, right? This, the, I think, also sets them apart from that print correct. ad or from that, you know, radio, radio ad. This spot. is like, wow, look at this guy. He's cool. He's got, you know, their picture right. on the back of the jacket and right. his hand it's and a brochure. It's, it's unique. totally, yeah. It's, it's totally different. Cool. It's unique. And then... And then I oh, also another video quick. Oh, we we can go to the other video. Oh, we can. Oh, great. Yeah, let's, All right. Let's get that in because I think people really need. Okay, let me be quiet. So I'm the running suit guy. I run races and find a tire. Promoting your business is my desire. I just ran this 10K race for the umpteenth time. Finished in about an hour and 24 minutes. And it's great because I really feed off the smile of the spectators. When you smile, I smile. It makes it easier to run another mile. And then the uh, advertisers see that I get a lot of attention, a la you covering me. And so they pay me to promote their businesses and run with coupons. So I have coupons, including one from LongIslandNY.tv. So I'm promoting you as much as you promote me, but I also promote the Dreaming Tree Massage and Wellness. I promote Best in Show Pet Resort, really nice place to leave your pet. I promote athletes, performance care, he's a physical therapist. So Chris, you get a ton of exposure when you're on, the, on these uh, races, runs, yes, yeah, on right, these runs. Right. So how do people get their name on your, on your suit? What are they going to do? I have a website, okay. www.therunningsuitguy.com. Okay. Uh, I just built it myself, so I'm becoming, you know, a little bit uh, techie. Techy, exactly like right. Yeah. You know, I think we're all learning we're at all this learning. stage. Yes, right. we are. Yeah. Right. It's a whole new world. Technology keeps changing too, so you have to keep relearning. Mm -hmm. Correct. <laughs> and this information will be on our website too. It is. So you that'll can be good. Too, actually, if click on um, Shake It Up with Karen and .com. Chris's links are on there. His bio is on there. All a lot of the photos and the video links right. that. Um, we just showed you now, and a couple more are on there as well. But um, feel free to click over to the running suit guy dot com. Right. Running suit guy dot com. I really and encourage people to do yeah. it because I'm telling you, I'm at these events, and it's like everybody flocks over to you. You're like a celebrity. You're yeah. like a local celebrity. Uh, people have said that. So you are. I, 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 I know you're I blushing. You, sure. You're very humble, and yeah. you know it's wonderful. Well, he's got a big heart. Well, obviously, because Look at of the, the charities, charities, they're right. close to your yeah. heart, and that's what you represent, and that's a beautiful thing. It is. But I really encourage people to, to um, get in contact with you because it's a great, unique way for them to promote their business, and you feel good about it. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? When you smile, you know, you, you just feel good, and that's part, of, that's part of the whole idea. And I Correct. want to thank you, and thank you for the opportunity to be on Shake It Up with Karen and Regina. <laughs> it gives me an opportunity to further promote my clients, my sponsors. Absolutely. And, uh, and also to uh, expand my, my business. So right. I, I appreciate it. And who would have thought we would have had the running guy on today? I mean, seriously. <laughs> right? We're always shaking things up. All right, guys. We're going to be back with uh, Matt Silver from Ultimate Class Limo. And he's going to talk a little bit about his business and Long Island Fight for Charity, which Regina and I are going to on Monday.
Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and we're in New York. And we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patient's cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkoma, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you. Welcome back. Hi. <laughs> so as you can see, we have another handsome gentleman sitting with us today, Mr. Matt Silver. Oh. I mean, I can't. He Ultimate is class. absolutely one of my favorite. Ultimate people. Class Limousines is absolutely um, one of the best limousine services in the world, let alone in Long Island. We use you all the time. And Thank you. Thrilled to have you here. Pleasure to be here. Yes. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> we were together oh, last you? night, weren't we? Yes, we were. Yes. Yeah, you're together a lot. Well, you know, hey, yeah, we cheat might nummy. have a thing going cheat on. Nummy. Both of you cheat on me. <laughs> no, but, but Matt, it is really a pleasure. And before we get into all the meat and potatoes, I just want to personally say that Matt well, took care of me for my wedding day to Thomas, and um, they were amazing. I mean, you guys, it was February last year, the snow you have no idea. It must have snowed every day. And then, of course, it snowed the day I got married. And they were incredible. They helped me and my mom. The way they pulled up the car, they were, like, helping us shovel the thing the, yeah, the, yeah. to get out. Amazing. And what about, he, didn't he really help your mom just Well, that's recently? the other thing I was going to say. And, because my mom's 83. Hi, Rose. Love Hi, you. Rose. <laughs> Hope you're watching the show. <laughs> um, or she might be working right now. But anyway, um, she's coming. she was coming back from Italy. And she was coming back by herself, and I couldn't pick her up because I was out with this hooligan. <laughs> and she just so called me I a hooligan. Thought, I thought to yeah, myself, right. oh, my goodness, your mom, 83, is coming off an international flight, and you're not there to pick her up. What should I do? What could I do? And Karen's like, what, what do you mean? <laughs> call Matt. And I go, oh, you know what? You're right. So I called Matt. And I said, and I spoke to you personally, and you were so sweet to take the time, you know, to make the arrangements for my mom. And the the kid that was there, my mother's obsessed with him. She wants to know if she could use him again. I said, anytime you want him, <laughs> he's your guy. <laughs> he was guy. very good time. She felt very kind of, comfortable. It's really, yeah. it's, I understand it's a business, 
but you really make it a personal feeling for someone. It's not just you're hiring a car service. You, it's almost like we're hiring your family. Like, it's family. And I know that you do that for everybody and not just me. So I just want to personally say that. Thank you. But so in actuality, it's just you, Regina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I doubt that. I want to go on the record as saying yes, yes. And look at all these great ideas these guys have. Well, Matt, why don't you tell us, how did you even get started in the limos? Oh, business? yeah, yeah. Let's get to the history. Well, I was, uh, I was driving part-time. I was in sales, and I was driving part-time for uh, one company. And then I started driving for several different companies. This was in the days of beepers mm. in, the, oh, in the 80s, the, the, the middle of the 80s. Wow, and the so, big phones. You well, actually, phones didn't even come out yet. Cell phones didn't even come out yet. Oh, wow. So they didn't come out until a little later. So uh, I was driving for several companies, and I, I was uh, happy in my day job. I was happy with the chauffeuring. But I felt that there was a lot of things these companies, because anybody can make money in the 80s. You didn't really have to have, be very Correct. bright. That's true. And they really weren't prepared. They weren't. Uh, giving their drivers information, and I felt it could be a lot better. So what I did was I developed a plan that I would start without any cars, and I would get business through my customers I had with sales, and I would get wedding business through advertising in church bulletins and through word of mouth, mm -hmm. and I would, once I got enough business built up, I would then get a car to pay for my insurance and my car payments. So what did you drive them around it? I utilized the companies I had driven for to right. handle a job. Some of them would let me drive, or they would handle a job and pay you me a commission. commission. Right. Oh, that was good. So That's I was smart. able to build Again, up the money. Again, another entrepreneur. I That's love it. Yeah, and I started it. in the basement of my home uh, in a little room that I, that I converted into an office, and the brides and grooms would come down through my oh, kitchen, down the stairs. Home-based business. Yeah. And I started that. Now I have uh, 26 years later, 14,000 square foot building, and wow. I employ over 40 people. 14,000 square feet. It. Holy cow. Yeah, that's I wonderful. I love it. Uh, awesome. But you can and see you all I'm kinds so of cars, too. It's not just limos anymore. Right. We have, we have uh, three different types of sedans. We have Chrysler 300s. We have the Lincoln MKT. The well, those Lincoln, are nice, those Lincoln. They're beautiful. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever car I had that I got married in was hot. That was gorgeous. I don't even remember this what is it what was, I want to go gorgeous. with. And you should be. The bus. Because <laughs> that's, a, that's a nightclub on wheels. This is oh, Regina. Lord it, Lord it, Can Lord. we have, like... A banner made for the window as we drive through of it? Of course. Oh, we oh, should see that. Oh, we shake could that. put our shake it up. with. Yeah, that would That's be great. That's what I'm thinking. But they have everything on. I mean, you have, okay, so wine tours... You have something that's called stork service. I don't what to explain to me what that is. It's a fantastic gift that neighbors can get together and give one of their own neighbors that's having a baby. Co-workers can get together and give it as a gift. Or this. just their friends can get together or relatives and give it as a gift. It's not expensive. We pick up Daddy at home, any other siblings. We're equipped with car seats and a new baby seat. Aww. We then go to the hospital, pick up the new mommy, pick up the baby, and there's a bottle of champagne if they'd like to enjoy. Right. There's a gift for the new baby. That's oh, I would definitely be drinking that champagne. And if there's any siblings, there's a gift for one of them also. <laughs> but you see, this is what I'm talking about. It's about family. It's about really caring and thinking yeah. about the needs of everybody, making every single person, whether they're an infant or an older person, I don't want to say an old lady because I'll get in trouble for that, <laughs> but an you older person, <laughs> um, making them feel, you know, important and, they're talk and, and their needs. And that, that's incredible. And you know what? The other thing I love that you do, I want to talk about really quick, is the proms because you make a pledge that there's no drink, right? Zero alcohol See, tolerance. This is really yeah. important. I think parents And you've really actually need lost get... business from that. I, I have. I've lost yeah. over Imagine. the years probably fifty thousand yes. dollars in business, but I, I, I sleep better at night knowing that I'm doing the right thing rather than letting parents you. pay extra money or kids want to try to bribe the chauffeurs. Right. And uh, it's worked out really well because uh, people do appreciate that. Absolutely. And that's what makes me think about all the other philanthropic things that you do. Are, you're incredible. I mean, you're really a man of, of such integrity, and it's a pleasure to be your friend and to have you on the show. Well, just Thank last you. night he was um, really not oh, only tell us about all time. the time. Yes. So we were at the um, Arthritis Foundation's Women on the Move cocktail reception at the Carlisle in Bethpage. Mm -hmm. And, um, Matt, you're, you've been a big part of the Arthritis Foundation. You're on the board for them, correct? I've been a board member for about 15 years now. Yeah, yeah, that's wonderful. And um, you do usually the Salute Your Staff Luncheon, which is, I think, one of the first times we had actually met. Yeah, was, me too. Was through the yeah. uh, 
Arthritis Foundation. That is correct. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. for the last uh, 27 years, they've had a Salute Your Staff luncheon. And for the last 20 years, I've been either the chairman or the co-chairman of it. It's been very successful. It's been a lot of fun. It is get a lot to meet of fun. some awesome people. Uh -huh. and, uh, and, <laughs> and Karen, your involvement with the Arthritis Foundation is just, you've blossomed so much uh, and oh. done so much for them. And, and everyone Thank really you. appreciates the entire board, appreciates everything you've done. Well, you know, I believe in helping people who help others. And all of the people on the board that I've met and all the people that I've worked with really put their all into um, helping the communities. And, and the people in their communities. So, and I think having the local organization too, the Women on the Move Long Island chapter here, really pulls together a lot of um, the people who are in our industry, in, in the beauty industry with arthritis, because uh, rheumatoid arthritis is really rampant mm -hmm. in, in our, um, you know, in our stylists and in our colorists, because that's what they do. They use their hands all day. Right. And, you know, it's painful to watch them have to actually perform with this particular debilitating yes. disease. It, it's not cool. But um, you also are now having a fabulous night coming up Monday. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. It's the Long Island <laughs> Fight for Charity. Uh-huh. And it's uh, coming up this Monday night, 5.30 p.m. at the Hilton Long Island on Route 110 in Melville. We're very excited. It's our 11th anniversary. We benefit three different charities. The uh, Long Island... Foundation for Human Potential, the Long Island Community Chest, and the Genesis School, which is a school for autistic children. Aww. And it's uh, just an amazing no, event. We have restaurants, business people, boxing business people. You wanna... And what, what do they do? Like, do they... Um... One of the big sponsors is Allure, right? So yes. they just put that up and the date and the time. So that's great. And then you know what? We have to go to a quick commercial and then we're going to come back. And I don't want to rush it. So let's. Well, let's we're going to talk some more about boxing. Yeah, yeah I'm dying to find out Hit what this up. is all about because we're going to go watch it. I'm excited. Oh, we're definitely going to watch it. All right, we'll be back. Dr. Robert Brevard. I'm here for Multimedicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multimedicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel. We treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over we do 15 years. We a vast array of diagnostic testing from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is. Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching doing it to help her with her pain. Vicki is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicki is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained. Find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy. Please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000. Or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. Welcome back. Here Hi. we are. Um, I think Regina wanted to talk a little bit more about well, the 
the not-for-profits. Yes, I just want to say you are truly a business leader in your field, obviously, and you also participate in so many non-for-profits. I mean, you're always there to support all these organizations, and there's a lot of them. So I don't know if you want to mention a couple of them or you want to just focus on the, the, the Monday night. It's oh, up to you. I'm more than happy to mention a couple that I'm involved you should. in. Uh, I sit on the advisory council for the Cradle of Aviation. I'm on the community advisory board for St. Joseph's Hospital in Bethpage. I'm also a founding member and board member of the Bethpage Chamber of Commerce. I, um, I'm the president of the uh, People Community Counseling Center in Bethpage. I, uh, the list goes I, on. It, it, there's quite a few. Yeah, no, I mean, anywhere really really that we are, he is. He is. So I know you're at even more. Because wherever I am, there you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we try to get to as many as we it's can. Spooky. I'm not stalking you, Karen, I promise. No, uh, no, listen to me. I'm more like stalking you. Because yeah, we are. We follow in Matt's footsteps. <laughs> that's right. That's right. But you always um, make the event so much fun, too. So that's why we love going to all these events. And I Monday believe night life's is important. Be... you gotta, you got to laugh and you got to enjoy yourself. And I Monday agree. night is going to be super exciting. We yeah. are thrilled to, okay, to be able so to now join what, you. Okay, so now what do people actually, how did this come about? What do they actually do? Because they actually train for this. Like, this isn't just a joke. This was born out of a post-meeting from a Salute Your Staff luncheon from Arthritis. Okay. Myself, Jamie Austin, and Jeff Cohn were sitting at a table. Jeff Cohn had just started white-collar boxing in Brooklyn at Gleason's Gym. And he was talking about it saying, maybe there's something we can do with boxing. And at that point, Jamie Austin got up from the table and challenged me to box him oh, and started running. I started running after him. <laughs> and that's how the idea was born for the Long Island Fight for Charity, which has become the most sought-after event. We have so many boxers that apply every year, we have to turn people away. Now, what is, what is involved with the should applicant? Box each no, other I knew you were going to say day. that. I'm not doing that. I would that. like that. Not doing You could box somebody, but I'm, I'm not box boxing. I'm you. We could no. have the little, the, the cushiony no. thing. No, I've seen you in action. No, <laughs> this is all run by. I've seen her in action. This is no, all about He's run by me. USA Boxing. Right. So it's, everything is, is, is by regulations, and the gloves are a little bit bigger than regulation glove but not much. It's mm -hmm. three one-minute rounds, but it's all about networking, one-minute one rounds, rounds, and people That's train. Quick. It's not Let that Let me tell quick. you something. That's Have quick. you ever been in a ring? A minute. I don't even own sneakers, from Gina. What am I doing in a ring? <laughs> a minute in a ring is like 20 minutes. Yeah. So, you, okay. it's no way. All right. Our boxers train for, well, that's what I was gonna for ask six you. to eight months they do? in gyms wow. all over Long Island. We contract with gyms to train them, and they train for six to eight months. Uh, and they get in that ring, and they have all their fans screaming and yelling. We have 25 restaurants there, all giving out food samples. We oh, have it's be alcohol. Party. We have yeah. a ton of vodka, beer, <laughs> oh. wine. We have networking <laughs> on top of networking, desserts, ring card girls, really cute ring card ring guys. Card girls. And ring cute card guy. guys. guys. Very cute guys with no shirts on. Oh, oh we awesome. like it. And we gotta, so we gotta who's boxing? How many pictures? matches? I'm we will have we will have day. ten bouts. Ten bouts. Ten bouts. Each boxer pledged to raise five thousand dollars or more, and most of them have raised over ten five thousand. Wow! Wow! Yeah, that, you know, that All right, so who's boxing? Like that, sh it should be more. They should raise. Well, let, who's boxing? I'm just saying. We have a whole list of people boxing. We have lawyers boxing, business owners, accountants. Uh, Anybody that we a, know? A limousine owner is boxing. No. Oh. Absolutely. He boxed last year. Loved it so much. He's back boxing again. So. We're so very you happy boxed to have that him. First year I boxed though? seven years. Wow. I boxed for seven years. I loved it, but it was time to move on and more right. into the administration and you let of other running people, the event. You we let have other a whole committee. In. There are over a hundred people involved in planning this. And we start right after the first event, right after the event is over, November twenty fourth. We we start in December planning next year's event. Well, if oh, you so need our help, you let us yes, know. We're yes, yes. I would, I would commit to it. Absolutely. For you, anything. Yes. Thank the you. other thing is, who sets up the ring? Like it's a professional ring set wow. up by oh, people that so have a mobile I want ring. good seats, Matt. What do I got to do to get good seats? Honey, you're working the event. You're oh, not I'm gonna working. Be, you're oh. going to be all over the place. <laughs> no, I'm a little yeah. too old for the ring girl, I would yeah, say. I would but think it, so. I can't have you as a ring girl <laughs> no, because no. you'd make the other girls look bad. Oh. Because you look so good. <laughs> He's, He's so such, sweet. He's such a talker. He's a talker. <laughs> He's but, good um, like that. So, okay, so they come, they set up the ring. Now, yes. who's the referee? 
Who's the ref? It's all done through USA Boxing. They provide oh, referees, so oh, so male and female referees, a timekeeper, uh, officials. That wow. are, uh, and, but everybody's a winner. Because and who's when a it, judge? Official judge? They're official judges, and we have also celebrity judges. I'd like to be we, a judge. Who's a celebrity judge? This we year? have Elisa. You were mentioning oh, her before oh, from she News 12. So cute. So we're the get entertainment to see her Monday, traffic we're get a reporter. New picture with Elisa, right? She's yes, so many of them. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and um, we have other celebrity judges the, from the Hilton, the general manager, and the chef will be judges. And we have. Um, uh, a former publisher of Long Island Business News will be uh, mm. one of the uh, one Fabulous. of the judges. We just have some great people that have volunteered their time, and it, it's the event is just so much fun and so much great networking. Please go online right now, lifightforcharity.org, and purchase your tickets because we will be sold out, and you won't be able to come. Yeah, That's it sells it. out every year. And Regina I mean, and I amazing. will definitely be there. Yeah, well, so. we are going to be there, people. Yeah. So don't be shy. Come say hi. You want to hang out with us. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that um, overall you are supporting oh, some fabulous charities. It's going to be a fun night. You'll get some great business Wait, networking you said there's women boxing? Absolutely. We have, How is that? We have, um, we have Lisa the Professor Consolo, who uh, works with the uh, Babylon School District. We have Joanne Turbo Joe Dugnowski, who, uh, <laughs> who's a professional motorcycle. Um, oh, wow. Uh, she, she works on motorcycles and does a lot of stuff with that. She's, right. She's a really great person. She's raising a lot of money. And who have you had in the past? You got any names to drop? <laughs> like I would like spot. to see Joe Secreti fight. Oh, uh, you can't have men fight women. Oh, it's okay. only men against men. Yeah, Sorry. I knew she was. <laughs> yes, we have Please. Jessica Big right. Bones Galone, who uh, <laughs> works for family residences. We have a uh, young lady uh, Neela, who works uh, as a legal paralegal for uh, a lawyer office. But these boxing matches get serious because I remember Sal from a lawyer. He, they were very serious. Yeah. They were not... Sal, I mean, Sal is the MC this year. He uh, is? Unfortunately, he was going to box. He got injured. Okay. Oh. And he's not able to box, but he'll be our MC. He's going to do an amazing job. We yeah, are so he's much great. looking forward to Sal being the MC and just makes the whole evening so much fun. Yeah, he's a lot of fun. That he's is a lot, a lot of fun. fun. One day, maybe Chris Gomlich, Gomlich will... Uh, he should be running around. He should just suit. run around the ring. <laughs> Something nice maybe we can work around. out. Bob and Wee, Bob and Wee, Bob and Wee. Stick and move, stick and move. He stick has and the move. hat. It looks good. That's right. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah but and that's a it, fun way to advertise, I too. But please remember to go online, <laughs> lifightforcharity.org. Purchase your tickets. And if you missed the uh, website, it's on the website for the show. And uh, get the tickets now because uh, it, we will be sold out and you be, won't be able to come in. And right. Matt, how do they find you? What's your website's information? My website is ultimateclasslimo.com, and we have on there our holiday specials for coming up for See the Tree and NYC, which is oh, a great fun. gift to give I to love that. a yeah. family for an employee or for a client. And uh, we have uh, New Year's Eve specials all on our website, mansion tours, all different fun stuff that you can do and in and around the, the metropolitan store area. Special. Right? The stork special is all that. on there. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, that's awesome. So it's ultimateclasslimo.com. All of I um, love it. the links that we just talked about, the lifightforcharity.org and the um, ultimateclasslimo.com are all on Shake It Up with Karen and Regina .com. Mm -hmm. So um, just head on over to our website. You'll see Matt's bio. Um, you'll also get some you know, good ideas about what's going to be happening at the Fight for Charity. And um, you can click over and purchase your tickets right there. So uh, definitely, you know, any one of these links and, and come see us Monday night because we're all going to be there. We're, oh, we're going to have, have a great time. time. We've got to figure out what we're going to wear. I don't know what to wear to a yeah, boxing dress. I've got to get wearing? dressed up a little sassy for that. Is it sassy? That's not your average sassy, outfit. Sexy? Sassy's sexy, I think, is the best way to sassy, go. Sassy, yeah. sexy. I mean, all you right. know, just think, if you were going to go to Las Vegas... And you know how you see the celebrities in the, oh, in yeah. the audience? Yeah. That's what we have to look like. Okay. So right. we have to really I'm get in. this going on. And I think all I your something. fans should be there because oh, it's, it, an amazing it's night. just a great night. They'll really enjoy and it. And they'll get to okay. connect with us, too, which will be a lot of fun. Now, what time does it start again? 5.30. And 5.30. Get, the, get oh, there crap. early. Get Leave there early because the Hilton parking lot gets filled up. But Ultimate Class Limousine will be providing shuttle service from oh. nearby parking lots oh, I to love take it. you right to the door. Now, do you have valet there? 
Do we have valet? Valet politics. No, we don't. Oh, okay. Because okay. Regina and I have talked nights. about it. Yes, and she's funny. thinking it's, like you know, uh, is she serious? I, I happen to like Take a limo. Let's take a limo. Yes. Well, we should take a limo. We you can take, take car service if you'd like. Yes. Be provided by Ultimate Class Limousine. <laughs> Just give us a call. 516-935-4444. And I am available for voiceover work. 935-4444. That's yes. a nice number. Absolutely. It is. Yeah. It is. All right. I love it. See why we love him? He's just hilarious. He is I just a lot get of fun. such a kick out of him. <laughs> and he's such a good-hearted person, too. Thank yeah. you. So, um, all right. So we have all that done. We, we're going to go wine tasting with Matt. Yes. We're I'm not to, having a baby, so I don't yeah, need the no, store that's, service. That's out of the, that, yeah. the, the But I will order that you. for some of my cousins that that's are now. A great, that's Prego. a great thing. And now yeah. you see, also, there's a gambler special. Oh. Yeah. That's right. Let it roll, my baby roll. Oh, she's that? got that down well. She yeah. can, she's oh, a I crap can player. <laughs> oh, I learned how to play cards at the Pink Tie event. Oh, and yeah. We, so Me tell too. us what's that. I was Game on that committee, too. That's a great event. Yes, is. it is. That's and, a nice they, event. and they'll be doing that We had a great time that night, too. I, I think I remember you. Uh, we were. You were at the bar quite a bit. We were, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. But yeah. then I was rolling. We I had was a rolling time. the dice, yeah. Um, so what is this now? Gambler Special. What's that? It's all on the website. They can just go Incredible. to uh, ultimateclasslimo.com. It's all on there. But it's uh, basically 12 hours of gambling. We yeah, take you down there. Pricing is very reasonable. That's what we're all about. We're not the high I mean, price really company. Is. We're the reasonable company. Yeah, yeah. With really nice We're not drivers, the high price company. We're the reasonable reliable. price company. It, yeah. Our, I like our, that. our tagline is affordable elegance and unrivaled prompt courteous service for all occasions. It you is know what? So it's true, true. It is so it's true. It's absolutely Thank true. You. I have used um, Ultimate Class Limo um, for every single trip that I've taken, and um, never, not once, were they late or picked me up in a car that didn't work. Or, you know how many times, you know, you go oh, and it's going to disgusting. Know. A uh, beautifully clean car, nice, nice drivers. Courteous drivers. Yeah, they really, they really do help you. So all, like I Amazing. said, every time I use any kind of car service, whether it's to the airport or whether it's to a function or whether it's, you know, just for a day on the town, um, I always use. We got to pick a day on the town. We got to go to. Uh, we should go to Tutupazzo for. Um, Super Bowl. Yeah, that's take awesome. The limo we'll go see Luigi. Super Bowl at Tutu Pazzo is crazy. <laughs> so you definitely need a limousine for that. <laughs> You're not driving home on that. Yes, so that's yes. a great thing, too, for people who want to be around town. And now they you got go me out. craving that lasagna oh. Luigi makes. Now that's all I'm going to think about is lasagna. Okay, I just so, mentioned one thing. Yeah, that, oh, Can't please, help. I love that food. Um, uh. But that's great. It's a great to do a local service, too. Exactly. We can take you anywhere you need to go, whether it's to a doctor's appointment locally or in the city, or whether you just want to do a day of shopping. We do that. It makes it so convenient. When you're shopping in the city and you're going to five, six stores, yeah, yeah. and you get all those bags, you just walk out of the so store, to walk the to the car, whether yeah, it's a yeah. limousine, a town car, an SUV, put the bags down, and we take you to the next store, go in, get your right. get whatever you're like buying. Like a lady. Shopping like a lady. That's how I like, to shop. Like lady. I like, how I like to shop. All and right. wait a minute. We and also it's have, not expensive. We, don't we have Star for a Day with you? That's coming up. Yes. We're going to be yes. doing that. That's going to be amazing. That's oh, so much man. Fun. I can't wait. For, actually, you're really the re I mean, we're so excited for Star for the Day, but knowing that you guys were the, the service, we're, yeah. we can't wait. Like, that's well, going to be so I haven't much done fun. this in a very long time, several years, but that day, I'm going to be your chauffeur. Oh! Yeah. So excited. Are you, Are you kidding? kidding? No, I'm not kidding. Oh, I love it. Thank this is you. like Christmas. I'm yes. so excited. Yes. That's well, you have so no idea what's going to go on. And that, that that's is, that's good. Oh, we have to go. All we right. Have to, we got to bring the camera on that wrap one. Up. Okay, guys. Um, LIFightforcharity.org, ultimateclasslimo.com. You have um, earlier today the running suit. Uh, guide.com and um, is that what it is? The running suit guide? The running suit guide. The running suit guide. Yes. And of course, shake it up with Karen and Regina.com. All of these links are on there. Um, don't Please. forget Monday night, guys. Come see us. Really. And thank gals. you. And I don't want to thank all of our guests today. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Regina. Man, thank you, Karen. Love really you. love, mm. really great. I well, can't kiss you because you're all thank too you. far away. But thank you so much. I'll we kiss love you, you again for her? No. <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.